Hey, welcome to today's video. So, uh, today we're going to be building a squadron of GPTs that are going to be acting as your Avengers team that are going to do a highly specialized thing for you. Now, you know the issue is with GPT is that the info is usually quite outdated. It doesn't have live data. Yeah, it can access the internet, but it's very limited. And the output that you're getting, it sounds very smart. It's going to be on your side. It's going to be all, ooh, I'm happy for you that you did did this thing but it's gonna be a pretty shit outcome right so today's video this is part of a series where we're gonna build a squadron of gpts that are gonna have access to live data through apis that you're gonna be able to use for all intents and purposes right today we're gonna be building the keyboard data gpt and in the end it's gonna basically be able to do a basic demand check it's going to be checking keywords if it's seasonal or stable. It's going to see where are people searching. It's going to see who is searching. And we're going to also be able to basically expand content ideas. And then at the end, we're going to synthesize all that information and we're going to create a content plan that you guys can use that is based on a true, true volume, true, true seasonality, true uh demographics right and not only that it's not only going to be good for seo it's going to be great for your google ads you're going to be able to target your google ads way better you're going to be able to do facebook advertising uh, with very targeted campaigns and very targeted language as well based on seasonality demand and how people are feeling about things right so with that out of the way let's jump into this right so you're gonna need a few things for this to work and you're gonna need first of all you're gonna need chat gpt right so if you don't have chat gpt get that it's 20 dollars per month highly recommended second of all you're gonna need data for seo which is the api provider that just recently um just a few days ago actually made it possible for us to use basically api inside of gpt for keyword data and a lot of other use cases. Now, if you don't have data for SEO, you can start with $1. Just click the first link in the description below and you'll be able to set up your account, get your API key, and I'll help you with the whole setup right here and right now. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So first things first, you're gonna go into your chat GPT and we're gonna create a GPT together. We're gonna make this very simple and you're gonna be able to customize this however you want for your use cases. Um, but for now, you just click on create GPT inside of the GPT folder. And then I'm going to keyword data, API researcher, right? And instructions. Now for instructions, you can do whatever type of instructions you want in terms of like, if you want to make it more used towards your own brand or so on and so forth. I'm, I'm simply going to just do a, 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 an overview here. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to copy all the data here uh, from Google ads. I do. Uh, and I'm just going to copy every single section Bing ad, ad. So the overview here, right? So we're just giving GPT a big overview of what is possible using this API um, because I feel it's better for us to prompt this afterwards instead of setting the intention for the AP uh, for the GPT beforehand, because I feel like it can really limit the the output potential that we have with this GPT. Cool. So now that we have the instructions here, uh, we're not going to upload files. I'm going to set away the image generation. I'm going to remove the canvas. Actually, we can keep the image generation uh, and we can keep the canvas. What the hell? Fuck it. And and what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to actions. And then we're going to create a new action. And this is where the magic happens. So in the second link in the description below, you're going to have this GitHub where you're going to find all the data for SEOs actions that you can implement into GPT. I'm going to release a video on each of these so that we can create a big team, a squadron of Avenger GPTs that all have their own unique superpower that are going to be able to help you create better strategies that are not only for SEO, but holistic, right? For Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok, for your social media posting, for your videos, for example, there's going to be a lot there to unpack. But for now, we're going to go down to keywords data, uh, this, and we're going to copy this text right here. I'm going to paste that 
into here and we can see now that we've got some available actions here that we can do which is explore categories explore uh, region interest demographic and volume um, for authentic now we need to authenticate so we need our api so click the first link in the description below and get your data for seo uh, api key you're going to sign up you're just going to go to your dashboard and then here you're going to click on api access and you can request your api you're gonna to have to set it up at first and you're gonna be given $1 to play with. So you don't even have to invest anything, but once you feel like there's potential here and you can use it, then you can add up and top up however much balance you need. So once you have this, we're gonna to need to do a little special thing. So we're not gonna be able to copy and paste our username and API password um, into this authentication app. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to take our API login and we're going to have to take our API password. So send that to your email, copy your email and then set it up like this. So my email is right here and then I do it with the semicolon and then I add the API password right below that. And I do this inside of base64 on encode.org. And now we're going to be able to encode to base64 format. And now what we have is an API key that we can use inside of ChatGPT. But it's very important that you take your email first, semicolon, and then do your app password or, or data for SEO password. And you copy this, do the encode and copy the API key. Go in here, click on authentication, click on API key. And then here we can click on hidden, paste that API key and boom. Now we have a working GPT that's gonna be able to connect to your data for SEO, gather all the keyword insights that you need and want. And uh, yeah, we're now basically at the stage here where we're gonna be able to start generating some stuff here. So I've created a prompt chain that is gonna act as an example for today's video. And you can do much more than this and you can go wild with this, but this is just gonna be an example here, right? So. The first things I'm going to check out here is basically do get search volume, CPC and competition for the keyword running shoes in the United States. Now, I understand running shoes is a very generic term, but it's a good example. So now you can see it's trying to talk to API data for SEO. I'm going to want to confirm this. And here is the keyword data for running shoes in the United States. Search volume, blah, 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 blah. Now let's go to the second prompt, which is show the popularity trend over the past 12 months for running shoes in the United States. And it's going to want to connect again. Let's have it talk to the connector. And now we're going to see the popularity trend, right? So we're going to see highlight peak interest is late November 2024, likely around the holiday shopping period. Uh, lowest interest is early January 2025. Another surge is March 2025 possibly tied to the spring running season, which makes a lot of sense. So right away now, you can see that we're getting some interesting insights here that we regularly wouldn't be getting from ChatGPT because, well, we have live data, so it makes total sense. And yet monthly average popularity is around on the 70 on the scale. Cool. Let's now jump into prompt number three, show keyword popularity for running shoes by US state. So now we can see the popularity state by state instead of a country as a whole. And now this is something that you don't even have access to via Ahrefs or SEMrush, which is very useful when you're doing any sort of advertising for let's say running shoes, right? So we see top states here. Iowa is the best state possible for us to advertise running shoes. And as you can see, we have Connecticut on second place, Hawaii on the third, Colorado, and then Texas. And these are the lowest interest states. So these ones are perhaps the ones that we shouldn't be advertising to and, and wasting your, our advertising money on because they have the lowest interest. So you can see how this can be very, very useful. Now let's check this prompt number four, which is who is searching. And this is very interesting because now we can start getting the, the gender uh, gender and age breakdown of these keywords as well. And you would never have access to this using regular ChatGPT, right? So now we can see uh, the interest based on the age group. So people 45 to 54 are the people that are the highest interest in running shoes 
right now, in the past 12 months. And by gender, females are more interested in the running shoes as well. Now, this tells us, okay, so we should probably start advertising our specific message to people that are 45 to 54. Okay, so now we can advertise, get the best running shoes for people that are age 45 to 54. And then after that, we can do another ad set or campaign or, ca or article, right? So best running shoes for people age 35 to 44. So we have a lot more um, stuff to go by here. And we can also do females. So we can do females 45 to 54 running shoes. Very, very specific and detailed but very effective because we know it's the best choice out there. Cool. So let's now go to the step number five, which is to get related topics for queries running shoes in the United States. And we confirm that. All right. So here's what people in the United States are searching alongside running shoes over the past 12 months. They're running for shoes, running, sneakers, running shoe, Nike, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, basically. Uh, rising topics that are on the rise recently is Brooks running shoes, Asics running shoes on Cloud Monster and Nike Alpha Fly. So this gives us more data to go off of, okay, what type of running shoes should we be advertising to women age 45 to 54 in Iowa, for example, right? We also have related queries, which are best running shoes, Nike running shoes, Brooks running shoes, on running shoes, hookah, and so on and so forth. Now, based on this, I want you to synth synthesize all this data and let's come up with a content plan for different content plan using all of this data. Well, so now we can create a content plan backed by all of this key data around these keywords, which is absolutely optimal for, well, anything, right? So here we can check. It's synthesizing peaks around November, December, holiday shopping, secondary peak is March holiday. Uh, we got the age and anyway, anyway. data-driven. Here's a 12 month editorial plan tied to this. So best running shoes for women, 2025 buyer's guide. Running shoes for men, top picks for every budget, trail running shoes versus round running shoes, how to choose the right running shoes for your gait, yeah, gait, I don't know how that means, top running shoe brands compared, Brooks, Nike, Hookah, A6, New Balance, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, I understand that these might be a little, like, of course, if you're trying to rank for top running shoes for Black Friday 2025 and you're not a huge brand, this is not the best. But... If you do this for your brand, your keywords that might not be the most competitive out there, and you go just a few steps deeper, you're going to be able to create a content plan around keywords and demographics that you had no idea existed, right? Um, but we can also do a, let's say, advertising uh, targeting options for different campaigns. So now we can create like advertising, right? So we can do... Um, Female audiences, 35 to 54, mid to high household income, interest in fitness, running, outdoor recreation, health and wellness, uh, parents with children, okay. And then we can also focus on these states, which is Iowa, Connecticut, Hawaii, Colorado, and Texas. We can do custom ads for these sections, for these demographics, and we can do it even for the other ones. And then we can start killing off campaigns. We can do a lot of split tests. You can basically see what is gonna work for different options. Now, there's a lot more you can do with this. This is gonna basically just be the start. I wanna see what you can create using the live data that Data for SEO enables you to have with your custom GPTs. And stick around, make sure you subscribe to the video because next time we're gonna be building either of these uh, four different GPTs here that are also gonna be able to provide us with, uh, let's say backlink data, researcher GPT, domain analytics, and on-page optimizer GPTs. And all of them are gonna be fueled by live data through data for SEO. Now, if you don't have data for SEO, yeah, as said, click the first link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. I'll get like maybe 15 bucks if you top up uh, more than whatever. You can use it without, right? Get it, it's very useful. I highly recommend it. And with that, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.